Understanding two basic types of special needs trust in Arkansas. Navigating the world of special needs trust in Arkansas can be daunting. It's crucial to understand the differences between first party and third party special needs trusts. Let's delve into these two basic types and help you decide which one suits your unique situation. Special needs trusts in Arkansas provide financial support to individuals with disabilities without compromising their access to government benefits. These trusts offer a safety net, ensuring continued receipt of government benefits like supplemental security income and Medicaid, while benefiting from the additional support provided by the trust. SSI and Medicaid are invaluable government benefits for individuals with disabilities. To qualify for SSI in Arkansas, applicants must meet strict eligibility criteria. The asset limit for SSI in Arkansas is $2,000, which means beneficiaries must carefully manage their resources to maintain eligibility. The primary purpose of a special needs trust is to ensure the beneficiary can maintain their government benefits while accessing funds from the trust to cover expenses beyond their basic needs. These trusts can be funded with various assets, such as money, personal items, real estate, and investments. First party special needs trusts in Arkansas are established using the beneficiary's assets. These trusts are designed to ensure that the beneficiary can maintain their government benefits while accessing their own funds when needed. However, they come with distinct regulations, including a Medicaid repayment provision upon the beneficiary's death. Setting up a first-party trust in Arkansas requires legal expertise and strict adherence to state and federal laws. The beneficiary, a family member, guardian, or court can create the trust and fund it with the beneficiary's resources. Third-party special needs trusts in Arkansas are established using assets from someone other than the beneficiary. Unlike first-party special needs trusts, third-party trusts don't require Medicaid repayment upon the beneficiary's death, offering more flexibility. Establishing a third-party trust requires legal expertise and compliance with state and federal laws. A family member or guardian of the beneficiary can set up a third-party special needs trust, which can be funded with generous gifts from other family members life insurance proceeds, and inheritance. Selecting the right trustee for your special needs trust is crucial for proper management and distribution of funds. The trustee is responsible for taking care of investments, distributing funds, ensuring financial well-being, and making decisions in their best interests. The tax implications and planning for special needs trusts in Arkansas might be complex. First-party special needs trusts are generally classified as grantor trusts for tax purposes. Third-party special needs trusts, on the other hand, are subject to income tax. Alternatives to special needs trusts may be considered depending on the individual's specific circumstances and needs. One such alternative is an ABLE account, which allows individuals with disabilities and their families to save for qualified disability expenses in a tax-free savings option. Understanding the differences between first-party and third-party special needs trusts is crucial for families and individuals with disabilities in Arkansas. Whether you choose a first-party trust, a third-party trust, or an alternative solution like an ABLE account, careful planning and professional advice can help ensure the best possible outcome for your family member's future.